I learned, you know, where the motorcycle can take you. It takes you to the far ends of the world, you know? The places that look like they're on a different planet, that's where we're riding, and that's what's so cool. I raced motocross and supercross for 17 years. Uh, it was a dream for me, and as a kid growing up, that was the pinnacle and the center of my universe. So I was very blessed to have such a long career, and I always loved you know, riding motorcycles. So I started riding in the mountains in Colorado where I grew up, and I don't know, I just, that sense of adventure. I had a new love for off-road and going to explore and more of a hobby than anything, but um, you know, after racing for so long and being so um, one-dimensional, uh, off-road and, and riding trails, it was, uh, it was cool just to experience something different and have that passion again without all the pressure. I started following Rally, and those guys, they seemed crazy, and I knew they played with fire, and, but what was so cool about it is it wasn't one-dimensional. With the navigating, you have to be smart with your bike, and it was day after day. It was kind of like climbing Everest um, for motorcycles. It's cool because it's the, the highest level of racing. The little things you always took for granted, you had to be really smart, and there's a challenge about it. And I liked that. It, it opened my eyes, made me think of things in, in a different perspective. So from that, it just caught fire for me, and, it, and I didn't know if it would be possible to ever race rally, but uh, it was my new hobby. There was an opportunity and it just kind of worked out, you know, it's like, it's one of those things in life, it didn't really make sense. But I knew it was going to be an opportunity of a lifetime and I would have memories and it was just something, I would have no regrets if I did it. It's been, a dream, it's been more than a dream come true just to, to do something like this and who knows what's on the horizon or where it will take me. I never thought I'd get to do this. I think the hardest part about moto is just uh, you're your own worst critic, you know, and I feel like you can never be, those feelings, I think they, they wear on you when you're racing 30 races a year, and when you do that for 17 years, I feel like it's hard to uh, put that in perspective. Obviously, there's always highs and lows, and that's what makes racing so beautiful, right? It's like, it drives you to be better and compete week in and week out. With rally, it's completely different. It's really dangerous. You're on the limit quite often. You come back and whether you did good or bad, the team, it's, they're just stoked you're there, you know? And I've never experienced that in racing. Last year in Dakar, we started on the beach and raced for 20 kilometers up it before we had our first turn, you know? And you're going on one of these bikes, six gear pin on a beach and just smashing crabs and dodging people and waves and it's nuts, you know? And, Stuff like that, you're on the edge and you're on the limit and it's super fun and you feel like a kid and you just smile, like you shouldn't be doing this, you know? You're, you're flirting with danger and that's kind of addicting and it's scary and you see the helicopter quite often and if you see the helicopter, they're not breathing, they're not moving or they don't have feeling. Um, so you have to accept that. I think the average, if one person dies at Dakar a year, I'm willing to kind of take that chance and live life. I would want my kids to like follow their heart and, and to do things that they love and all these opportunities that have been able to allow my family to do really cool things and, and have an amazing life as well. So when I'm done racing, I'll be super stoked and uh, the hard part is knowing when to stop, you know, it's like you just want to keep going forever. So I don't know when that moment is, but I think it will become clear.